hello and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start adding different sound effects to our game we will add the footsteps to our player and to our enemies and also to our drone we will add a sound so that it will show that yes the drone is moving in the air okay and also we will add different sound effects for completing the mission actually the mission objects and for opening the door etc etc so let's start from the player the player needs few sound effects like the footsteps and the shooting and also the reloading sound effect so if we check the audio folder right here we have the footstep we have different types of machine guns we have the player gun sound effect as you can see and we have this loading sound effect so click on the player let me minimize all of this right here let's add a audio source make the volume of it a little bit down below somewhere right here and make this 3d sound after that let's add a footstep sound to our player so in the scripts right here we will create a new script by the name of footsteps sound let's click on the player let's attach the script there after this let's click on the player let's come right here and we have this walk animation so double click on it and as you can see it's open up this walk animation now right here in the events click on that and right here now we will add our events okay so let me just make this a little bit bigger and if we play the animation as you can see he is taking some steps so what we need to do right here is let's just play the animation okay let me move this from here okay so when we take that step right there as you can see we take the step so now right here we will click on this add event and let's name this event as step this is the first first step click on apply we have now the first event there now let's move forward and right there he take the second footstep so we will add an event and let's name this as step okay click on apply and now we have two events on this walk animation and guys let me tell you one thing that make sure that you remember your function name okay because we will be calling this function in our script and in our script we will say that whenever this function comes we want to play some certain footstep sound okay so now we have the steps on the walk animation now let's uh, open up our run animation and let's start adding events on our run animation so if we play it let me go back right there he take his first step so i will click on add and let's name this as step as well okay click on apply now let's move forward right there he takes the second step so what we can do we will add an event let's name this as step again okay so now we have two events on running as well and after this we have this shoot walk and let's add the animation on this one as well on this animation sorry we will add the footsteps so right there he takes his first footstep so add event name the function as step then let's move forward right there he takes the second step so let's name this as step okay we have added that in there as well now now let's click on this aiming walk and if you check this aiming walk it's basically these two are 
the same animation as you can see aiming walk paint and walk so we don't need to provide that on this one because on this one we already have the event set now let's click on this jump and when he comes down to the ground right there we will add an event there as well so in the events click on event right here and actually you can name this as jump but then we will have to create a, another function for that so we don't want that we want to just simply name this as step as well okay so when he comes down we will play the step sound effect now for our player everything is set up and as you know for the enemy we use the same sound effect so we don't need to we use the same animation sorry so we don't need to add events there okay now let me close that in the scripts let's open up this footstep script now and right here we will remove these two default functions and at the top we need a reference to our audio source so we will say private audio source let's name this as audio source as well after this we will create a header and let's name this as step sources or you can name this as footstep sources right down below we will create a serialized field and then we will create a private audio clip and let's name this as footstep or footstep sounds let's move the f small okay so that it don't confuse between the class and the variable okay you can name the variable whatever you want now in the awake we will say audio source equals to get component and we will get the audio source after this we will call out that function which we added in our event and that is by the name of step okay so if you guys name your function for example footsteps or whatever you want okay then you need to name this as well footstep or whatever you name it okay in my case i name it as step so now I will say audio clip and this clip will be equals to a function which will be by the name of get random foot step and in this function we will simply get random sound effect okay so let's make this a private audio clip function and in here we will simply return the footstep sound so we will say unity engine dot random dot range let's set the first one zero and then we want to play the footstep sound and we want to play that sound fully so we will say dot length and after this we want to play that sound only one time so for that we will type audio source dot play i think it was one shot and in here we will pass the clip and this clip will basically be this one which is equals to this get random step and in this get random step we will get a random footstep if a sound effect okay with this done let's go ahead and click on the player we have a footsteps array footstep sounds array okay and in here we want to play two sounds because the player has two foot okay which is a basic thing about human okay so for example if you are using any animal then you can add four or five or how many legs the player has okay in my case it has only two so i will select two and then in the audio let's 
drag and drop this footstep there and again let's drag and drop that footstep in there and guys as i told you that we use the same animation for the enemy as well so we need to provide this same script to the enemy as well or else it will give out an error error okay so right here just simply copy this footstep script from there and in the enemies we have only let me okay let's go to the scene let's double click on the enemy now okay he has the same sound effects so what we will do we will simply click right there and click on this paste component as new so now both the player and the enemy will play the sound effect but for the enemy we need to add an audio source as well so add an audio source make the sound 3d and let's move it like that okay the maximum distance to which we can hear the uh, enemy footsteps will be 20 okay so make the maximum distance 20 okay now let's just do that now let's play the game you can hear the enemy footstep sound as you can see now let's uh, make the player walk and as you can see he can now play the footstep sound Let, now let's try to run as you can see he can play that now let's aim and walk as you can see it plays the footsteps now in slow duration as you can see now if we try to walk now it is a little bit faster but now if we run it is now more faster as you can see and now let's try to jump as you can see it plays the sound and guys if you notice if you didn't notice a thing uh, for the cine machine camera as you can see the camera moves a little bit as you can see and it gives the effect that the player is moving as well as you can see the camera moves a little bit okay you can notice it okay now let's get closer to the player and listen the player footsteps as well if you hear it as you can see the enemy can also play the footstep sound Okay, now he is shooting us, but he can't shoot us because we have this cover between. Okay, now let's close the game. And with our footsteps added, see you guys in the next video.